Welcome to You Can Do It from sunny Austria. So you want to make some proper homemade pizzas, well... Straight to the point, please. Oh, you can cook these pizzas in 10 minutes, but first of all, let's make the pizza dough. So we like our pizzas with a thin crust, but still a little yeah. bit in them. So they're fluffy, but they're, they're very, very thin, okay? And this is the recipe, very, very simple. You need one kilo of flour. You need two bowls, so make sure you have two, otherwise you get caught out. You need a measuring thing for some water. Um, you need some yeast, and a little set of scales to measure your yeast, and some salt. Let's get going. This is basically all based upon using one, one kilo bag, so you don't do need to do any weighing or anything like that. So whatever you don't use, we can freeze down, and it works perfectly well in the freezer, and it takes a few seconds to defrost to make a pizza. So, you need 600 grams of water, and make sure it's warm, about 22 degrees. So that's about 650 millilitres. Next thing we need to do is we'll add the yeast, I'm using four grams. If you want to have it more aerated, you use a bit more yeast, yeast. but to be honest, four grams are fine. Stop. Oh, yeah. So stir that up a bit. Yeah, don't put your salt in this water mixture because yeast and salt don't really like each other. So the best thing to do is hide this salt in the flour mix. So then you want two full of olive oil. There we go. A little bit more for measure. But it makes it taste even better. We take our bag of flour, uh, it needs to be proper pizza dough, so it has to say pizza on it, <laughs> or it's got to be zero zero flour, so it's got to be super fine flour. There we are, don't tell the wife, it's all over the floor. Right, this is where we need to mix in 20 grams of salt. Now, yes you can use rock salt, but the thing is rock salt won't, if you mix it in with here, it doesn't really mix up properly, so we just got to use table salt in this situation. So we've got to use 20 grams, 20 grams of salt, that'll do. Two. Pop that in there, okay? Mix the salt up. Try and just use your fingertips. Basically just saves you getting really covered in muck. Right, make a hole in the middle, and then just pour in a third of your liquid. Cover it all up. With your fingertips, don't get your whole hand in there, so you'd be a right mess. In fact, you can actually use a spoon if you don't want to get messy at all. In fact, I should have used a spoon, to be honest. I thought we'd do it the real authentic way with fingers. Make another bit of a hole. I'm not going to pour it all in because I might have put a little bit too much water in. It's starting to feel more like dough. There's a lot of powder still left at the bottom. So I'm just going to literally just chuck that in there. And now it's starting to feel like proper dough. So now, just chuck it all on there. But you've got a little bit of excess flour here which is good to there now. There we are. And you just got it and just bring it all together. This is the first bit and we have to leave it overnight. We are making the pizza dough. I too. Yeah, but you're going to probably eat it. So look, now we basically. I not eat it. No, yeah, hang on. I'm going to mix this into pizza. Hey, fly, that's Papa's pizza dough. Exactly. You tell that fly to get away from Papa's pizza dough. Okay, so now the dough is. Can I do two? Yeah, go on. You just push it a bit. Push it a bit. You come on. You're on YouTube now. So hurry up. People are impatient in YouTube. They don't want to wait around. Right, okay. And there's more stuff in one. Yeah, that's lots, isn't there? Right. Lots okay. and lots of pizza lots, dough. Right. So look, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to look like a perfect pizza dough at the moment. Just do that. Roll up all your little bits. Right, and you've got your ball. Stick your ball in there. And now we're just going to leave that for 15 minutes. Stick it in there. Put your towel over the top. It's somewhere nice and warm. Oh. Just sort of stick it there for 15 minutes. We'll be back in a minute. Or 15 minutes. Minutes later, there's the dough. It's the time to get to it. Sprinkle a little bit of flour here and then take your dough out and put it on. Now there. we're going to knead it. It's very difficult for me to knead this with one hand, but basically, you take your palm of your hand, push it over, turn it around, lift it up, push it down, and just do this for about five minutes. And you'll feel the dough will start getting a lot more um, elastic, but don't do it too much. If it starts getting hard, then you've done enough. So I'm just going to do that for a few minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, that's been kneaded now for five minutes, that's like proper dough. Right, the next phase is we just put it in this bowl and we need to leave it overnight for say 18 hours and it'll rise and it'll rise significantly. So this is, the, now this bit is really, really, really important. You need to cover this with olive oil. The olive oil, I'm just going to sprinkle that all over. So basically I'm covering that all over that side. Whip it over. And I'm going to do the same here. There should be enough already here but I'll just put a tiny bit. Now that is just so that you don't get like a crusty film on it 
once it's left and I know that because I didn't do it properly the first times I was making these and I got it sort of like gets like a hard skin on it like skin or milk sort of thing and then you can't really do that so that's all covered with olive oil and I'm going to put it in this okay bowl. that's now in the in the bowl and I've covered it with some cling film so it's airtight so then all we do is leave that somewhere nice and um, slightly warm is better so we'll come back uh, tomorrow it's been 10 hours but it's been in a very warm place but you can see it's completely risen up take the topping off so there's the pizza dough so what I'm going to do basically is just slice this up into probably eight pieces so eight each piece, each piece will have 825 grams of flour, so that's about right. These 125 gram uh, pizza portions will be enough to, to cook in our special method of cooking a pizza. I've cut that into two halves, and now I'm going to cut it in half, 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 or give me eight portions of um, okay. dough. There's, there's four done, and I'm going to put those just in, wrap them in cling film. So, there are your seven portions. There's the eighth, but there's seven portions. All they're wrapped in cling film. They can either go in the freezer or the fridge if you're going to cook it in a couple of three days or whatever. Otherwise, I'm going to stick those all in the freezer. And that's left us with this one here. Now, watch part two if you want to see me take this piece of dough and make a pizza that you are eating and the best pizza you've ever eaten in 10 minutes from this point. Watch part two. You can do it.